Bye. I'm sorry to disturb you, but is it okay if you join in for 10 cookies? No, sure, sure. Anytime. We have our first question. The first question would be, how did you enter politics? But let me ask you this. How did you enter the entertainment industry? I was because of politics. Uh, because of Reformasi in 1988, I saw what was going on in the streets. I went for uh, uh, rallies and then I thought I wanted to write about it. So I wrote and then I performed uh, what I felt. Oh, okay, wow. And how do you truly feel about winning Lembah Pantai Parliamentary seat? I feel uh, <coughs> ecstatic, tired, hopeful, and I know that there's a lot of work ahead. Okay, and what's your next target after winning the seat? I want to do the best that I can. Uh, I'm thinking about all the promises that I made and what I can do to make sure that I fulfill those promises. Okay, and what's your favorite book that has been adapted into a movie? Oh gosh, uh, it's got to be uh, Lord of the Rings. Oh wow, not Harry Potter. <laughs> no, no, I'm a lot older than that. Okay, and what's your biggest fear? Sharks. You don't, you, you don't be plan, you're not planning to go swimming in the ocean, do you think, yes? Not anytime soon, no. You have now worked with both Tun Dr. Mahathir and Dr. Sri Anwar Ibrahim. What are the major memories you hold dear to yourself? Uh, I, think, I think it's always uh, how I've helped each of them. Uh, I'll always remember when uh, Tun Dr. Mahathir came to help campaign for me in Lembah Pantai. And of course, uh, being able to see Dr. Sri Anwar Ibrahim, uh, both in court as well as uh, at the Chiras uh, Rehabilitation Hospital before uh, he was released. Okay. And your favourite Malaysian nasi meal? Is it nasi lemak, nasi ambang, nasi Ooh. Ooh. dagang? I, I, really like, I really like nasi lemak. It's with, uh, with ayam, uh, ayam uh, goreng berempah. Uh, yes, actually that's my favourite. Uh, tell us about your love story. Mm, I met my wife. Uh, actually, we were working in the uh, theatre, yeah. So she was in the next theatre company, and I'm I'm in this theatre company. And then I saw her, and we were supposed to make this portfolio, this this brochure about the space because we wanted to find people to rent the space. So this led to da 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 da. We spoke, and then you know I said, hey, why don't we go out? And then after that, you know, all those years later, 14 years later, uh, we we're happily married. Performer, so could you give us your best imitation of someone who inspires you? Oh gosh, I'm bad at imitation. Come on. I'm bad at imitation. Oh, I can't, I can't, I can't. I can't. Okay, just a tiny show of anyone at all. Oh. Or a script that you've done before. Okay, okay, someone that uh, is inspiring. Oh. Okay. I am 92 years old, but I can still drive a car. <laughs> okay, that's really bad. Okay. We'll leave it to the audience to guess who it is. Um, if, and last question, that was great. If you are chosen to be a minister, what minister would you want to be? Oh it gosh. It can actually be something that has never existed. Maybe you could create a portfolio. Okay. The Ministry of Funny Walks, if you know Monty <laughs> Python. Uh, but more seriously, I think uh, I like to serve in any capacity, uh, even as a, just as a member of parliament. But uh, I, think, I think what's really important is that I focus on the promises that I've made. Uh, I don't want to deliver, especially to the people of Lembah Pantai. This is my first term. I don't want it to be my last. Okay, nice. And can we get a bonus question from UYB? Sure, why not? All right. Some are saying, especially your fans, girl fans, are saying your hairstyle is very silver fox kind of thing. So how do you feel about it? Do you think it's going to be uh, trend-setting? Wait another five years, you're going to have uh, all white all white hair, <laughs> politics is such. Okay. Nothing, nothing stays the same, everything changes. Alright, okay, thank you so much YB. Thank you.